excuse me, uh, with Madam's uh, 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 permission, may I know if we have coffee ready for anyone who would like coffee? Thank Good you, job, Jim. Jim. That's probably why we were waving at the earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm patient. Uh, we'll also have some pizzas coming up. So Thank you, Jeff. Come on back. Well, first of all, um, many of you know me because uh, we regularly participate in, uh, in this neighborhood's organization, which I really value the, the care and the interest on the part of the people who live in this neighborhood. And it's the only way a neighborhood can survive is when they have people who live in it that care enough to pick up trash and whatever and not put up with more, sometimes you all put up with more than what's humanly even reasonable, way beyond reason. But um, you hang in here and you worked for the betterment of the, the neighborhood and that's very, very important. Um, I did not come prepared to, uh, to follow the mayor this evening in this conversation. So uh, I just made some quick notes along the way. And um, for me, the reason a city administrator is really essential to the city at this stage is because of the fact that even though we're a city of 50,000, we really are a city of around 80 to 180,000 because we are the center for commerce not only the downtown area, but putting in uh, Valley View Mall area as well. The number of people who, uh, it's over 10,000 people a day come into the city now for jobs and so on. And of those 10,000, very few of them are property taxpayers in the city, other than as businesses. And this is one of the sad things in relation to the, the system, which is democracy. If you don't live in the city, you can't vote in the city. And yet many, many of the businesses are paying taxes in the city too. And yes, they're getting services, but they're not getting the, op the opportunity to vote. Those are pretty significant um, and important differences. Um, so if the only way we can keep unemployment low is by commerce, having the commerce in the city. We need to have ongoing planning, long-range planning, for the development of jobs and the tax base. And when the tax base, when the taxable property values go up, the tax base comes down for all of us. And this is something that a lot of people don't understand. They think when they just see it on their tax bill that, oh, this is, this is the taxes. They don't normally stop and think a whole lot about having a community center like this, about having Hood Park, about having the roads and having the libraries, the parks and all the various attributes that the city has, as well as maintain the sewage plant and the water plant and all of these issues. We're talking about 15 to 17 departments, police and fire, two, two more, that I have wonderful managers, every single one of them, I would say, obviously some are better than others, but by and large, the managers running the city work at, the, at now within their own parameters of their own departments. One of the major benefits of having an administrator is bringing somebody with professional training, we'll take questions later, with professional training, no interruptions, please. We have the opportunity to have someone who understands the whole process of administration of a major corporation with a budget of over seventy-four million dollars, with, as I said, fifteen to seventeen departments, and knowing how to lead the organization for the future. Now. Granted, it's very nice to say that our taxes have not gone up in the last couple of years, and that's great. I mean, it's always good to take stock, but you also have to look forward. You can't just look back. And if, if, for example, if we did not have the development of over $55 million of additional tax base in the City of La Crosse in last year, the taxes you just paid, 
your tax rates would have gone up. But with $55 million of new uh, taxable property in the city, that has helped, along with this, uh, certainly the mayor has contributed too, to um, attempting and encouraging and sometimes wrestling with the, in the uh, city council to keep it. So it's the combination. But what I would say is that the reason we had that uh, $55 million tax base increase is because of the long-range planning that has been strategically put in place in order to continue development of our tax base. These are the issues where an administrator can be very, very helpful. The last several mayors have had very short term, um, short terms. Pat Zilke was a great mayor for the city of La Crosse, no question about it. And it, because he had a tenure of what, 20 years or 20, a, a significant number anyway, over 20. And Pat had his visions, and I mean, I received many phone calls from him, Audrey. I've got this idea, do you think you could support it? And most times I could, because it was something that was good for the city, and it was planning that wasn't going to be implemented this year or next year. It would be in his next term or his next term or his next term. These are the things that make it important. Now, administration has changed, government has changed very, very significantly since Pat Silke was in office. And my concern is that it's just because of the way people are today even, that there is likely to be more turnover, shorter terms, because the public is not as loyal anymore to a person. They want their dollars, they want to watch their dollars, and they want to have what they want. And they, if a neighbor wants to put a fence in their yard and they don't want it, they're going to scream like blue murder. And these are the kind of things that um, people expect more for themselves these days. And that's why we need the continuity, I believe, of having an administrator who has the training and the credentials to be able to take this city to continue it moving forward. And, um, oh, I, you've got me going at it. I'm sure I've, I've probably said, said more. Um, I did talk about the fact that even over 50,000, and um, yeah, basically, in the current system was developed many years ago, and you know, just because it, it's the way it has been done, you know the story. If you do it the same, you'll end up the same, with the same results. This is a time for the city of La Crosse to, to take a, a step forward in, in faith and, say, and to understand that we all will be in better shape paying ultimately down the road. Our kids, our grandkids will be paying less taxes if we do really good long-range planning that's not going to happen this year or next year, but in the next 20, 25 years. So that's, that's what I believe. Thank, Thank you. you for listening.